welcome to June's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Coming to you for a, from a new place to us at least. This is Merrimack 10 Pin Setter in Merrimack, New Hampshire. And boy, was it fun trying to find it. My GPS was horribly off, not even remotely close to where this place really was. So with that being said, we're here. And before we get situated, I know there's going to be music and definitely video walls. I've seen that in, uh, you know, I've seen it in descriptions and what have not. So another muteville. Anyway, let's take a look at the highs and lows as of now. In the land of the candle pins, we got a 148. In the low sector, we've got the 44 at Mason's. Putnam Street was the 148. And Collins Bulladrome owns the 147 for the Ducks. And North Chelmsford Lanes owns the 58, which very tiny lanes and very tiny approaches. The lanes aren't tiny, the approaches are. Remove the camera from the approach. Things got a lot better from there. And then the land of the 10 pins. One point shy of 170 because, well, guess who? And trying the Jason Belmonte thing, the 26, that's a real number. And those are the highs and lows as of now. Music galore. We are starting on lane 15, and as you can see, video walls. Everything's pretty much exposed, so we don't really have to go anywhere too far. we got a snack bar over there, seating further to the right. As we go to the other side, you see the arcade, and of course, the little boys and girls room, and again, the refreshments right there at the snack bar and the front desk. That's pretty much all there is to see. It's all up front and center. I like to use a 10 pound ball, but since those were nowhere to be found, we took a 12, but we're not going to play too many games, or so I thought. Anyway, it's now time for those famous words you've been waiting for. It's now time to watch me suck at regular bowling. Game one, frame one, ball one. Due to this place playing music, most of the audio is muted. Anyway, here comes the first ball. No slide whatsoever. And we get four. For those of you who like the pin setters, here's the Brunswick GSX doing absolutely nothing except putting on a slight show and replacing the existing pins. There you go. Ball two. Also, because of video walls, you get to stare mostly at the psychedelic pin setter. Here comes the second ball. A little bit better, and we get a total of seven. Again, for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the machine setting down a fresh set of ten. Here they come, and there they are. Frame two, ball one. Typically, the first game is kind of rough, especially being a candle pin person. There goes the ball. Looking pretty good, and hey, a strike. That's better. So far, a little bit of a rough start. We got the seven and one, and then a strike in two. So far, we have a 17 with El Stinko the bonus balls one and two to come. Free three ball one El Stinko. What will they add up to? Let's find out. Here comes the first ball. Little off to the right. And we get six of them. At least 80% of the lane will get us something. Here comes the ball. There she goes off to the right and manages to find the other 20 for the lousy six fill. That was a rough frame. Then again, the first game tends to be a bit rusty. Here comes the first ball off to the right. And seven, eight, seven. One, two. What a nasty split. What can we do? There goes the ball, and, well, throw it in the gutter. And that'll be seven. Those two frames were a train wreck. We got a six and three, which filled the strike. And then a seven and four. Can we get better? Thirty-six. 
It's been a rough go lately. Can we do better? Here comes the ball. It's actually looking pretty good. And a thin strike. That's definitely better. Frame six ball into a stinko. What will they add up to? Hopefully better than the six. Here comes the first ball, and that's not going to help. El Stinko 2. Hopefully El Stinko 2 will not live up to its name like its predecessor. There it goes, off to the right like most shots today, and only four go down. Again, the rust and inconsistency. We got the strike in five, but then we got a lousy four and six, which also makes the fill. 54. Gotta break this rough patch. Here comes the first ball. This time, a little different. It's off to the left. And we get four. Again, the only good news here is 80% of the lane. Something. There goes the ball off to the right like a oh. pen. And six. Looks like the strikes we got were just pure luck. Anyway, here comes the first ball. Again, a little different. Off to the left. And six. Ball two. Another nasty split, although not as bad as before. There goes the ball. Off to the right again. Getting one for seven. Here's another pair of train wreck frames for you. Just like three and four, we got a six and seven. Seven and eight, sixty-seven. Frame nine, one. This is beginning to look like the typical rough start. Here we go. Balls off to the right. Seem to do a lot here. Managed to get what we got. Ball two. Got lucky getting the six, being how far off the first ball was. Let's see what ball two can do for us. Again, way off to the right, and the six remains. Let's get it over, ball one. It's possible to get a three-digit score if we just get a turkey. There goes the ball. Turkey running away. And three. Last one. At least we can get a spare. It's fairly makeable. There goes the ball. And... Makeable if you actually hit anything with it, and that will be only three. This game was a total disaster. We got a six and nine, and as things couldn't get worse, they did with a three in ten. We get a lovely 76, and even for Candlepin, that's not all that good. But as always, the first game tends to be a bit rough. That ends Game 1 for the first week of June 2021st edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Coming to you from Merrimack 10-Pin Bowling Center, this is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.